Hi, yeah, it's day nine of lockdown with your dogs. Um, and today I'm just gonna go through um, some hand targeting practice, um, talk about adolescence, and um, so get rid of some myths that you might have heard in the dog training world. Um, because uh, things have changed in the last 30 years. Um, and we now know um, that dogs do not feel shame, they do not feel guilt, they do not feel pride, and they do not feel blame. Um, so when you see a dog on Facebook, a picture of a dog on Facebook, and uh, you'll know that straight away their eyes are like looking, it's the whale eye. You can see the big whites of their eye and they're looking up um, and people always say, ah, oh, my dog's guilty of eating uh, my socks or destroying my house. Um, this is his guilty look, he's so guilty. Dog's not guilty. Unfortunately, what you're seeing in that picture is a dog that is fear, fearful. Um, so whether it be the camera is too close to the face um, or they've been really badly told off and the, all, all they're expressing to their humans is that fear. Um, this is Whiskey, by the way. He's, uh, he's my most obedient, intelligent dog. Um, that's why he hasn't appeared on the videos because he's actually trained to do absolutely <laughs> everything. Whereas Lady, who I use, is still learning. Um, she's very much an adolescent. <laughs> And he's offering me behaviours that I didn't ask for, bless him, but I just fed him because that's just dead cute. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is some hand targeting first. Uh, you get your food in one hand. You rub your other hand so it smells of it. Hand targeting is teaching the word touch. So I'm just going to ask for a touch. Touch. Good, good boy. Now, Whiskey doesn't do hand touch. I don't need to do this with him. Um, I have done it for some other dogs because I need it for them. Um, but he's just still, he's just like learning this right now. So I've got the smell of the tree on my hand and he's got to touch it with his nose and good. This is how we start off with touch training. Good. So we're just gonna get him to touch my hand and it actually helps really, um, it, it helps with confidence building with dogs. Um, some dogs don't like you putting their hands in. This actually teaches a lot of confidence. So sit yourself down again. Touch, touch, <laughs> touch, touch, good. He thinks I'm asking for a paw. Sit. Good, good, touch, good. Touch. I've only got a little bit of crumbs in there. <laughs> so, for hand touch, for hand targeting, what we can teach is really, really cool things like get your dog off the couch. Um, so, I'm just, because Whiskey knows a lot of commands anyway, so we're going to pretend he doesn't know these commands. Get on. Good. And now we can use with hand targeting the word off. So, when your dog's taught to touch your hand for that tree, you can say off, good. Off is the word that you should use if you want them to get off the couch. Um, people say get down, down, and actually your dog should be trained to lay down when you say down. <laughs> good boy, okay, down. Down properly, you got back up again, down. Down, 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 good, good lad. Um, so this is the reason why we don't say get down when you're one on the couch, it should be off. Something completely different, like off, with hand targeting. So whiskey, get on, get on. Off. Good, good boy, get on. Off, good. See how we use hand targeting? So he's past the stage of where he has to touch my hand. He's still offering me a paw, and trying to hit my hand, but actually I just want him to touch it with his face. Touch. Good, good boy, good boy, sit. Good boy. Um, yeah, this is a really good one, isn't it? Okay, so some of the myths in dog training. Um, you do not have to be the boss of your dog. This is what people think we should be doing, we should be um, we're training them so that we're the boss. 
actually, um, we're not training them because we're the boss at all. Um, <laughs> what we're doing is teaching mutual respect, manners, and we're bonding with our dogs. Um, we should always let them offer um, behaviours that they want to do for themselves. We shouldn't totally restrict them. So you shouldn't expect your dog to just do exactly what you want every second of the day. Because actually that makes them a miserable, miserable dog. So number one, dogs are allowed to walk ahead of you. That doesn't mean to say that they, they, that they are the boss. Dogs can eat before you eat your dinner. That doesn't mean to say that they think that they're the boss. Ah, sit down. <laughs> they, uh, they should also be allowed to win games. So when you're playing a game with them, you shouldn't be the winner all the time. You need to boost their confidence by allowing them to win. Um, what else can we say? Uh, you, they can walk through a door before you. The only reason why we don't teach a dog, well, we try and encourage a dog not to walk through the door first, is purely and utterly for safety. So you don't want your dog to walk out a front door by themselves first before we've actually got there. So that's the only reason why we um, why we teach dogs just to sit and wait whilst we go through the door first. Um, but actually in our house, you know, you just open any door and my dogs are like, woof, they've gone. Um, but the front door, they absolutely need to sit before they actually exit. Um, so what else can you do? Oh, they can sit on your couch if you want them to. It doesn't mean to say that they're the boss, they can do what they want. Um, it's up to you if you allow them to sit on the couch. That's actually the dog's couch here. Oh, good boy, down, 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 down. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Oh, you're not gonna wait for that one. I love these treats. These are doofies. These are doofies treats. We'll do anything for a doofy. You will. Um, also, what we're doing um, by, by having mutual respect with our dogs and bonding with them like this and not being their boss is we're, we're, release, we're relieving stress. Um, trying to be the boss makes a really miserable, anxious dog. Um, so that's the last thing that you want when, you, you know, when you've got a dog. Um, Stress hormones are also, it, it just reduces their lifespan, unfortunately. So you want a nice, happy, confident dog. Um, you know, you want to be happy that they're doing things with you. We do. We don't want to be the boss, do we? We just want to have a nice mutual respect and relationship with them. Um, even if you've got five dogs, you have to give each one an individual um, attention. <laughs> down, down. Good. Um, Second stage, se second stage adolescence. It's a, it's a quick one to just go through. Um, you can come to puppy training, come to puppy training classes, starts at 12 weeks old. Um, you know, you've got, you, at the end of the eight weeks or six weeks, whichever course you've done, you've got a really, really well-behaved puppy and they do everything for you. All of a sudden, it comes to the sort of the eight month mark and adolescence kicks in. And I'll give you an example. The teenager that is sat holding the phone filming me right now, <laughs> she gets to a teenage stage, she gets to a teenage years and all of a sudden um, you can ask them to do something and they say, no, I'm not doing that. And you're like, what? And, you're, and they're like, no, I'm not doing that. Don't have to, don't care. That is adolescence, that teenager, that's the hormones, that's confidence, that's them wanting to do things for themselves, that's them getting ready to fly the nest they're having that they've got their own independence that's what happens to your dog your dog goes through the same teenage stage again so when your dog gets to around eight months old you need to ramp up that training get that long lead back on um, and really really start working with the treats again um, just to give you an example lady is actually in that stage right now so she pushes boundaries all the time so it's actually worth Whatever you've trained them to do, getting it all back out again and starting again. No whiskey? Come down here. Touch. Good lad. Touch. Good lad. Paul. Good boy. See if he remembers this one. And the other one. And the other one. Left paw. Good 
boy. Oh, that's too many behaviours. No. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh. Anyway, yeah, so that's a quick one. Um, just a few things to, to be aware of. Um, you know, never think that you're the boss of your dog. Have that mutual bonding respect. Um, teach your dog manners. Don't teach them that you're, you know, your king commander of your house and you'll have an amazing bond with your dog. You will give me one. He's a good lad. Thank you.